Hey Java developers, JFR has been updated to make it easier to analyze recordings from the command line. Let's take a look. The new JFR view command, added in JDK 21, adds a new capability for analyzing JFR recordings from the command line without having to download the recording and opening it up in a tool like JDK Misc Control. The JFR view command can be accessed through the JFR tool or through JCMD. JFR view works through a variety of views that give a different perspective into a recording. There are already over 70 views provided, a number likely to increase in future releases. Views cover concerns like the JVM, environment, and application. To use JFR view with the JFR tool, you'd use JFR, view, the name of the view, and the recording file. To use JFR view with JCMD, you'd use JCMD, the PID of the JVM to inspect, JFR.view, and the view name. The output will be returned to the terminal in a table, like in this example of active thread counts view. There are several options for modifying the contents and format of the output, including width, cell height, verbose output, and truncating. These options would be added before the view you'd wish to use, like in this example, setting the width of the view. Happy coding!